Hey there guys, PS3 here, and welcome to Farming Simulator 2013, this is Titanium Edition. This video is basically just so you can get a bit of a taste out of what the game is if you haven't heard of it before, I'm sure many of you have. And just see how popular it does get on my channel, because I'm actually considering doing like a, a video maybe once or twice a week, probably on a Sunday of Farming Sim, uh, like Farm Sim Sunday, I just felt, thought it was quite a catchy name. Um, but I want to see if this farming sim is going to take off on my channel. So I thought I'd do this little video just to give you a taste of what it is and if it's something that you would like to see quite regularly on my channel. So here we are, we've seeded some bit of the field. If I press escape here and go over to my map view. I uh, This is on my account career mode that I uh, play sort of on my own when I'm not busy or not streaming and just to chill out on my own but when I do start a series if I do it will be a fresh account so you, you'll see it from the very start to the very end but this is my map it's quite new I've only got field 16 and 15 15 it's actually got seeds growing as you can see there it's blue and there it's half got half seeds because still need to finish seeding that so that's what we're going to do so first of all you can either do it yourself or you can hire a driver so we're going to hire a driver to do the seeding for us and he'll go round to the very end of the field planting the seeds. So we can jump over to our other vehicles. So this is another tractor we've got. Another little tractor we've got. And a combine harvester that we've got. What is pretty cool. As you can see. It's uh this is the combine that you actually get for when you first start the game. This is the first vehicle that, like the first combine, haven't upgraded the combine at all. So what we're going to do is take a walk over to here. So this game is farming simulator, so it kind of says it what you do in the name. You're a farmer, you know. You do it very basic. I've got very basic, so as you can see, I've got some chickens over here. Let me just go and pick up their eggs. You have to check all around here because they plant them. Some very weird places. So what I like to do is to start with just take a nice little walk around here, just so we can get a rough idea of where, make sure there's no um, eggs around the edge of the, like where they are. So that's fine. If you press I, it kind of comes up with a little map, and you press it again, it comes up with the weather, uh, how much the farm shop is, the prices. So basically, as you can see, there's the prices so far they do vary and change throughout the day um, because if you see over there in our silos these big green buildings that you can see or green containers if you see right in front of us do excuse that sorry about that that's just steam showing up um, You, this is like your stuff that you grow on your farm so you've got wheat like wheat, corn, barley uh, what was it canola and then over here we've got uh, sugar beet and potatoes over here well, basically what you can do you put it all into them if I skip across you can see I've got 6,391 wheat and uh, barley I've got 4,690 and only two eggs I did have more eggs but I've sold them so what you can do you can get one of your lovely tractors over there that not being used get a trailer place it under one of them and then you can find the best place to uh, sell your items so what you want to do is look on here and have a look okay so we've got wheat that's going okay if you press 9 it goes across so you want to see what the best price is so for the wheat at the moment it's the mill so then what you want to do is go onto your map and like hunt down where the mill is what I find easier if you keep pressing 9 it gets rid of that what I do find easier for myself when I'm playing this game I've got two monitors so what I did I got a picture of this whole map with everything labelled on uh, and off of the internet just off of google images and then what I did is click and drag it onto my second monitor so when I'm playing I don't need to keep pausing the game looking up on google whereabouts is this whereabouts is that I can just scan my eyes across and it's right there for me if I don't want to use my second monitor I do the exact same thing but just with an iPad you know or you could with your phone but it's quite a small screen
The second one, uh, that is the one tip I would advise people. So let's get more into the game-like aspects. So, at the moment, as you can see, my lovely hired worker here is finishing seeding. Um, after he planted the seeds, obviously you've got to wait for them to grow. This is on real time, but if you go press escape, and you go over to uh, your settings here, you can speed up by like 120 times. So when I'm waiting for my, and like, you can turn up the plant, how fast they grow, have it on slow. Missions, I've turned them off for now, but yeah, you can have the missions, so you can do missions for people to earn a bit of extra money. Um, I'm quite new to this game myself as well, so I'm still learning. Well, it's quite cool, I can, you can like learn with me. So, like I said, once this is basically, these fields are been seeded and started to grow, I, what I do is, or once it's finished seeding, I turn up, as long as I've got nothing else that I need to do before I do this, and I'm just waiting for my fields to grow, if you understand me, I turn up it turn up max time and put it on fast growing so then it kind of builds up so I don't have to sit there and wait like real time okay right this is taking days it can take a few days real time for it to grow it's like quite it's quite a realistic game okay so uh, what I'll do is speed that up and then when it needs harvesting I'll harvest it so what I'm going to do now guys is let him finish seeding and then I'm going to show you what the aspects is of harvesting the game Harvesting the game, harvesting the fields with the combine and what you got to do. But instead of us just you just sitting there looking at a wonderful tractor going along, seeding and waiting for them to grow, I'm gonna skip the video in to when it's like ready to harvest and then you can see it from there. So I'll see you in a minute guys. Right guys, so the fields aren't ready to harvest just yet. I'm kind of thought of saying else I need to add into the video, so I thought why not add this in while you're waiting for the fields to be harvested. So, you can obviously buy new equipment and stuff, so as in trailers, cedars, tractors, and that's so all you've got to simply do is just press P on the keyboard, and we come up to here. Here we go, so we've got like all our um, so machine types. These are all our harvester machines. So like, as you can see, that's how much I got to. This is the best one you can get. And it costs a hell of a lot of money. So what you do, you can just simply go through and just have a look. You see you have like all the cutters and stuff. But there is something that I did want to show you guys, and that is if I can find it, this page. In here, as you can see, it says placeable mods. This game is absolutely easy to mod. These ones here, you can see with like the tree background sort of thing, like the here with this sort of background from here to the very top. This is for a big mod that was added into the game. It's actually like the forest mod, I think it is, where you can build like the trees, cut them down, and that. But to be honest, I'm going to deactivate that mod for now, I think, for when I start the series. It's because you need so much money just to get that mod sort of started. You know, it's sort of one of them in advance sort of places, if you know what I mean. So you need to like have at least a few, I'd say a couple of million in there to get decent and do it all properly, you know. So that mod's good if you're very experienced in the game and you've got a lot of money. This ramp here, what I did was there was a few tractors. So what I did was brought a big trailer... What was a mod? I will quickly show you. This trailer here, this one here, this big trailer, that was a mod. What was very easy to put in. And then this ramp was a mod as well. What you can see the ramps over here. So, what we did, you get four really not the best tractors in the world. Let me see if I can find them. Yeah, you get four of these, or is it three? No, four of these within the game. So what I did to pass some time and get some more money, I put I brought a ramp and the trailer and then obviously with my other tractor I lined up the trailer to that ramp and drove the tractors on. Because if you sell them at a local uh sell like the shop, instead of 
click and sell here, you get more money for them. So that's what I did the past time, but I will show you all that on a series. So that's another mod. What's very simple. And uh, this is some other mods. I've got some fences. So when I get some more money, I'm going to be putting fences all around my... I've got the fence here. Then I've got like the metal fencing, like metal railings and gates and stuff. That's what I'm going to be putting around all my fields once I've got my money up in the game. So guys, I will make a separate video of how to mod this game. Because, guys, it is literally so the easiest modding I've ever done in my life. I'm not even just saying that, guys. It is literally two or three clicks and it's done. It is that simple. So yes, guys, let's jump in, or let's shall I say, let's skip into when the fields need harvesting, so you can get a point of what the harvesting's like, and then I think that's a good old taste you've got of the game. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Hey guys, so we're back, and the fields are now ready to harvest, as you can see on the map. So what we're going to do in this purpose is where we're going to hire another driver to harvest this with the combine we're going to let that go on with that and while we're here we're just going to um, grab one of our tractors grab the trailer ready for when it needs unloading <laughs> yeah you're really thinking well, what the hell <laughs> um, I had a bit of a problem when uh, waiting for the waiting for the fields to grow I kind of had a bit of a collision and I used that little this one fell over so I used the other one to try and knock it over and I go ahead and got them both stuck together now. Yeah, so it kind of caused from a t one accident to a next and now I just got to get rid of them but that's just me being stupid and like just driving around too fast and then crashing into things. But yeah, no, I don't normally do that, I take these games quite seriously, I should put on some lights. So what I want to do is grabbing this trailer and taking it over to where the field is going to be harvested. Well, it's being part of this now. There's our nice combine. So, as you can see down in the bottom right, this all means uh, you have a picture of the tractor because that's what you're in. Then it has that box at the back, means you've got a trailer. If I press Q, detach the trailer, then you see it gone. Press that again, you see it has a trailer. Underneath that you have the miles per hour that obviously the speed is going. Under that you have the percentage of how much is you're carrying, so how much um, litres and stuff of you're carrying whatever ingredients. Underneath that is the fuel, then underneath that again is the money, and that's the same for each vehicle. So as we can see here is that it's 52% full now, so it's getting near just over halfway and it will need emptying. Normally the pipe comes out around about 70 to 80 percent normally. And you can see it's got a good amount of fuel. As you can see the pipe will come out in a minute, I reckon. It's going to be emptied. So what I'm going to show you on this guy guys is that as you can see it's been harvested, there is a lot more you have to do after you've harvested the field but I'm going to save that for if I do the episodes and you can see it in there so I'm not kind of ruining everything so I think I just want to show you the basics so I think what we're going to do is obviously grab the grab the ingredients that are out of this combine that's because it's nearly full now let's get in our tractor grab them ingredients out of there, go and show you where we've got our empty them then I think we'll wrap that video up as you can see it's Put his pipe up ready now, so it's basically asking for us to go and empty it. We're just gonna take, just gotta be careful, don't crash into them. It'll probably stop at the end here, most likely. Yeah, stop it at the end till it's emptied. But that's that empty. So as you can see, it only has taken 24%. Normally, I would just wait until it's done more and then just say doing backwards and forwards run. But for this purpose of this video, I'm going to just take this 24% and show you where we're going to put it. So if we bring up this, we can just see how much with ingredients we've got in this silo already. And then you can watch it go up as we have this. 
think it's the barn here, I think. I'm not too sure. So I go, you just want to drive over to this, press Q, yeah it is Barnley, and there we go, as simple as that, and then you just got to wait for the combine to do that, it needs emptying again, then you do the exact same thing, but after you have harvest, there is more where you've got to turn the fields over and stuff like that, but I'm going to save that for if we do do, <laughs> the tractors maybe make me laugh, if we do do an episode. Let's just check the weather, so it is due to snow soon, so I need to get all this equipment under them covers. Because you don't want them to, I've heard if you let it snow get onto them, the maintenance cost of the vehicle actually comes or goes up. So before I end up, this is the finances of how much you've got and how much you paid out, you've earned and stuff like that. So guys, I hope you've kind of enjoyed this bit of this video. And I hope to possibly start a series on this obviously if I'm only going to get a really really small audience so you say like 10 people view this video then I'm not going to start a series on it because this video does take quite a while to make you know because there's a lot of stop start every video takes a lot of time and effort to make so if it, people are not going to enjoy it I'm not going to make them but fingers crossed and touch wood that these series will take off and then we can start a good old farming sim series what will be pretty epic so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I hope you've enjoyed your taste of Farmers in 2014, Titanium Edition, 2014, 2013, shall I say, sorry, Titanium Edition, and I hope to see you in my next video. Keep safe, peace out.